Good morning. Today I would like to share with you about our trip to attend the conference and ex exhibition of Future Energy Asia in Bangkok last year. The event itself is uh, an annual event and uh, they are doing it regularly every two years. So the last event held in Bangkok on 12 and 14 December 2018. Me and some of my colleagues from PGN group are attending this exhibition and conference. Okay, let me start uh, my explanation today. Let me tell you about Future Energy Asia Exhibition and Conference. Actually, this exhibition is held by the Thailand Ministry of Energy and the participants will be all of uh, governments and policymakers that has uh, attention uh, in oil and gas uh, business. There are some of midstream gas and LNG companies, also renewable energy developers, or power and utility companies. And what interest is interesting is that there are also some of technology providers within Asia region attend this conference and exhibition. Overall, it was a good uh, exhibition and conference. We can meet. Uh, all delegation uh, in this uh, three days events we can discuss and um, exchange information with them especially what is going on in uh, Asia region uh, especially for me what is happening uh, in LNG and gas business during last year uh, events Uh, in this event, I was uh, able to highlight some of ideas or some of interesting points that I encountered during my visit there. Uh, first of all, it's about the Thailand's energy policy in transportation. Do you know why Thailand is holding this uh, even an exhibition uh, yearly because they have a very good regulation related with their tra public transportation big, uh, regulation. They are very uh, concerned about uh, green transportation. This is actually what they are implying right now and they are already doing it right now. So they are or using uh, clean energy for their fuel of transportation from uh, public transportation as well as private uh, transportation. They have uh, encouraged their people to use uh, green energy fuel, for example, gas, and they are uh, give some. give some um, preference or some advantage to their people uh, who are willing to convert their um, their motorcycle or uh, vehicle from uh, fuel energy to gas uh, fuel uh, energy. So they are very common. If you go to Thailand or Bangkok, uh, you can see that the traffic is is absolutely um, well. The traffic is most likely like in Jakarta, but what different is that uh, the level of pollution in Bangkok is not as bad as in Jakarta because they already use gas fuel energy for their uh, fuel for motor, motorcycle and vehicles. There are uh, 
taxi, most of them are already using gas. The bus also already using gas, even tuk tuk. You probably already know about tuk tuk, right? It's the common uh, public transportation that used in uh, Thailand. Besides using this uh, gas fuel energy, they are also considering to uh, convert the fuel for their for their transportation from gas into electric vehicle. They uh, they already have uh, some prototype of tuk tuk using electric vehicle. Also, a small car that already convert. To electric vehicle, they are planning to build some of a uh, 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 electric electric station, uh, charging station uh, everywhere in Bangkok City, uh, especially in Bangkok City. For the first stage, they are planning to build those charging uh, station around uh, Bangkok City so that. Uh, the tuk tuk or the other uh, small car that already using electricity can uh, found an electricity source easily around Bangkok Bangkok area. And for the next uh, presentation is about how is the future of LNG business in Asia. Uh, I get some of the data and information of how this LNG demand in Asia are grow uh, during my visit in the conference, and also some of them um, I get it from uh, discussion within uh, some of colleagues there. So we can see from the chart, the chart here that the LNG demand growth from 2017 and 2030 as you can see that China is the most country that using LNG they have a huge LNG demand and expected to grow strongly uh, in China because they also have a regulation of using uh, green energy uh, there are some uh, restriction or of using coal energy in China. Uh, this also uh, already implied in China and effectively um, changing all the the consumption of the energy in China. Uh, some of terminal of LNG uh, already built there, and they are using uh, well fully uh, operated uh, along the year to, um, to supply uh, all the LNG demand around China and still there uh, needs more LNG. Uh, the second largest uh, LNG use uh, in Asia is also India. Uh, India uh, is a we know that India also a large uh, having a large population in Asia, and the use of energy also huge, but not as huge as China. And the second one would be the third and the fourth would be uh, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Although the largest is in Bangladesh. For Thailand itself. Uh, they have uh, some of our uh, LNG terminal already operating in Thailand, uh, but the Thailand uh, still have uh, um, upstream upstream source of gas. So they only uh, they only import LNG in a not uh, in a small amount uh, to to uh, to compete. Uh, what the, the gas uh, upstream cannot uh, supply. Okay, and about what we can see uh, from the second chart is that the forecast of the LNG capacity taking FID uh, by year, uh, you can see that um, Russia 
Russia is uh, is in the north company and they have a, a very huge uh, resources of uh, gas but uh, they also have a problem to deliver the gas from uh, to the customer because of the climate uh, problem that they have uh, and also you can see that up to 2021 um, the use of LNG is still a very uh, uh, is a very good prospect for uh, the company that are building all the infrastructure and also uh, have a LNG for a, uh, for their main business. As you can see, that uh, from 2021 up to 2030 the demand is still high so we I am confident to say that LNG is still a good business for uh, in Asia the next one will be the key points that uh, we need to emphasize if we would like to develop our LNG business the first one will be uh, the demand you can see that China and India are both substantial LNG demand in the Asian LNG market uh, and also the experience how can I say that because the experience uh, of doing LNG business will give us more uh, smooth planning and have a, a great uh, operation and uh, operation along the year as well as we can get a uh, government and companies in most Asian countries uh, to have a good cooperation and collaboration with us uh, the governments and the companies in most Asian countries have little experience of operation and the construction of LNG regasification facilities while us, uh, especially PG and LNG, we already uh, operating LNG Lampung Terminal in uh, West Java or the northern of the Sumatra and the third the third key point that we need to uh, look into and develop is in maritime because Indonesia itself uh, consists of uh, lots of small islands and in order to supply the LNG demand around the area we could use uh, LNG bunkering at Francis globally and also maritime operators uh, that can support us to operate the uh, LNG carrier and also LNG terminal in a small uh, island. The small island are need, uh, has a very limited source of alternative fuel, so LNG will be a good source for their uh, fuel energy. Okay, that's it is from me. Should you have any question, I would be glad to discuss with you. Thank you.